been a long season for me, just battling some injury. So, you know, making the team was a win, but also giving myself some time for recovery was a win too. So, just gotta take care of my body now and get ready for next year. No one was ready for this, especially since Abby Steiner had been nothing but exceptional up until that race. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that it barely showed. I'd even say that only those in her inner circle would have noticed. This is exactly why everyone was surprised to learn about her injury. So, when it was announced that Abby Steiner wouldn't be running at the World Championships in Budapest, her fans from all over the world were disappointed about it, but nevertheless worried about her. It's such a shame, too, as excitement and expectations had been building throughout the season with the way Abby has been finishing her races. Suffice it to say that she'd been owning the track. What was not known to many, though, was what was happening off the track. Apparently... Mm -hmm. um, I actually have a bone spur on my heel and was planning on getting surgery beginning of September after Worlds. It's probably been going on for the last six to eight months, so just kind of been battling that all season. <laughs> Along with that news was the shocking announcement that Abby Steiner will be sitting out the rest of the season, but we will definitely see her next year. Well, this year. So, just in case you forgot about her since she's been away from the limelight for a few months, of course, you know that Abby Steiner is an American sprinter and represents the nation in 4x400 meter relay, 60 meters, 100 meters, and 200 meters events. The 24-year-old athlete is one of the top track and field sprinters in the United States and is seen as a potential future Olympic medalist. However, unbeknownst to most, she started her career by playing football and represented Ohio Premier SC and Dublin Kaufman Shamrocks in her early playing days. During her college years, she represented the Kentucky Wildcats and scored two goals from 19 appearances. Simply put, Abby focused only on soccer initially and started playing track and field events only in the 8th grade. She notably represented her high school in both sports. From the beginning, she was a natural at the sport, according to her previous track coach. Abby came out for track during her 8th grade year and we knew immediately that she was a unique talent. I'll never forget the first time I watched her run 100 at practice faster than almost all the boys, Catherine Slavin shared in an interview. From then, she continued to run faster than her peers, or should I say competitors. Anyhow, the fact remains that she is an exemplary runner. Even last year, when she had been suffering an injury, she was a star on the track through and through. Abby opened her outdoor season at the 2023 Texas Relays, where her team, the USA Gold Quartet, emerged victorious in a record-breaking time of 41.75 seconds. Then, at the 2023 Milrose Games, Abby set a new American record when she broke the indoor American record in the 300-meter sprint in a new national record of 35.54 seconds putting her third on the world all-time list behind Arena Privilova and Shanae miller Owebo. After that, Abby ran a shorter distance when she competed in the women's 200 meters at the 2023 Miramar Invitational and won, clocking at 22.23 seconds. The next race didn't conclude on such a good note, however. At the Doha Diamond League meeting, Abby delivered a disappointing last-place finish in the 100-meter race. She did, however, bounce back from that at the USATF Bermuda Grand Prix, where Abby clocked a wind-dated time of 22.06 seconds, 3.1 milliseconds, to secure victory in the women's 200-meter dash. The event is part of the 2023 World Athletics Continental Tour Gold Series. At the NYC Grand Prix 2023, Abby soared to 22.19 seconds, leading the pack in the women's 200 meters. With that, Abby, the reigning national champion, sped to a 21.77 in 2022 to top the U.S. list. After the win, she's already won three races at her specialty distance for the season, including a season best of 22.23. By July, Abby clocked a season best time of 22.07 seconds at the 2023 USATF Outdoor Championships, narrowly missing out on a place in the 200-meter event. That was when she announced that she would be shutting down the rest of her track season to have surgery to remove a bone spur in her left heel that had been pressing against her Achilles tendon. As you heard her say earlier, it was an injury she had been running through for at least six months. 
But looking back, I bet you will all agree that it almost never showed in her races last year. That's how great of an athlete she is. Some of you may be aware, though, that it wasn't the first time she had to step back due to an injury. In 2021, Steiner was on track to join the Olympic trials after she claimed the NCAA title with an injury shortly after the race left her unable to compete for the 2021 outdoor season. At the time, she suffered from Achilles tendonitis, which reduced her to committing to physical therapy to get back on the field. I allowed myself a couple of days to be sad about it, but in my experience with injuries, she said, that's all the time you get, and then you just have to keep pushing forward and addressing what needs to be done and setting new goals for yourself. And like then, Abby believes that last year's injury is not a reason for quitting. In an Instagram post, the American track star said, you can never lose if you never quit. She further shared that even when a lot of people asked her why keep going when she was so injured, quitting was never an option for her. It was never an option to give up without doing everything possible. And as you all witnessed her determination to make the team go to Budapest, it just wasn't meant to be. The initial plan was that she'd compete in Budapest first, but sadly her injuries became bad enough that she could no longer push the surgery off. And that was why she had to shut down the season early to get surgery, to get back to being pain-free again, she said. She ended her Instagram post with a message to her fans. I'm still not quitting, just attacking the season in a different way that's different than I'd hoped, with rehab and healing and taking care of my mental. See you next year. For sure, we all can't wait to see her this season. Here's what we know so far. Abby has won 16 state individual championships and holds four state high school records in track before she pursued her graduation at the University of Kentucky and was a dual sport scholarship athlete. She last represented her college soccer team in 2018 and decided to quit the sport to focus on track and field events. Since then, Abby has won a couple of gold medals in the world championships, representing the United States. Her medals came in the 4x100-meter relay and 4x400-meter relay events during the 2022 World Athletics Championships in Eugene. While she also competed in the 200-meter event at the event, she missed out on a medal as she finished fifth in the race with a time of 22.26 seconds. Nevertheless, Abby Steiner holds a couple of national records, one in the 200-meter indoor category with a time of 22.09 seconds set in February 2022. The other is in the 300-meter indoor event with a time of 35.54 seconds that she set in February 2023. Both records are also her personal best in their respective events. That may be it for now, but who's to say there's not a lot more to come? I personally believe that Abby Steiner will continue to excel in her craft once she's well enough to compete again. Now, we only have to wait just a little more to see that. And speaking of athletes we're excited to see this season, here's another one. Watch this to find out why.